Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about program to find prime numbers in the given range of numbers. As we know what is a prime number. So a prime number is generally having two factors. So if a number has two factors then we call that number as prime numbers. So what are the factors of prime numbers? It will be 1 and the number itself. So for that what we need to do is we need to find the logic so logic here is talking about factors so whenever i'm saying factors we need to check the remainder for example if i say 10 is a number and when we want to check the factors of 10 what we do is we divide 10 by 1 2 3 4 and so on till 10 so in between whenever it is divisible then what we need to do is we need to add factors count that is factor count 1 2 3 so when i say 10 whether it is a prime number or not we get factor count more than 2 whenever the factor count is more than 2 then we say it is not a prime number so this is what we we know about prime numbers and there is a video on finding a finding a number whether it is prime or not so it is only one number but in, in this particular video we are discussing about the range so first we'll discuss how to find a prime number for one number this is what the code we have written. Mostly we are uh, looking out for the uh, number. First we are going with the right number. So here uh, just uh, steps were rewritten here. It is 5, 6, 7 and 8. So let it be like this. Uh, as of now you, you, may, you think this is 5.1 because again I need to change these all things. Okay. So this is 5.1. Okay, so this is the algorithm for it. So for what, what we have to do is first we have to read a number and we need to initialize the count. Count is the factor here. And next we have to increase the number from 1 to means that we have to repeat the num divisible. We have to check the divisible of number 1, 2, 3 or 4 like that, right? So for that what we are doing is we are setting i is equal to 1. And when, till how many numbers it has to continue until it reaches the number value that is your n okay so continue uh, so if it is not if it is true then you have to continue and once continue what you need to check we need to check whether the remainder is zero or not to find the remainder we'll write what we'll write number percentile i is equal to equal to zero so if it is true then we are counting we if this is true means what Fa we had a factor here so as factor is available what we have to do is we have to add the or we have to uh, increment our factor count that is count is equal to count plus one and this continues till it reaches the number and later what we do is we'll check whether the count is equal to two or not if the count is equal to two then we'll what we'll say is we'll continue and we'll say that number is prime and we'll stop if not then the number is not prime and we'll stop this is with the code for only one number so if you want to check for a range like like this example if you're saying it is range between 10 to 30 what we need to see we need to check the factors of 10 and then later whether the factor is equal to 2 or not we have to check factor count and if it is 2 then we have to print that 10 is a prime number means we'll say that 10 is a prime again for 10 after 10 what we need to check we need to check whether 11 is also a prime number or not Again, we have to check whether 12 is also prime number or not, 13 is also prime number or not. To check prime number, what we have to see? We have to check, find the factors and then we have to find the count of the factors. Like, like that, you have to continue till what? Till 30. So this is what range now. That means here, your range is incrementing, means it is starting from 10 and incrementing till 30. That is what I'm talking about, incrementing by 1. What is that? That is your range. That is first point. So what is that? We need a number incremented by 1. Then again check the same number factor. See, we first said 10 and we check the factors. We incremented it by 1. Again we have to check the factors. Again we have to check the count. So this is repeating here. Right? That is the first point we observed. And second point is whenever you are going to check factors, how do you check? It should start from 1. To 10 again so this finding the factors is also repeating something that is again we are incrementing one thing that means here we are doing an increment and we are repeating the same here also we are doing incrementing and repeating the same okay so for that what we observed is we need a one variable 
that which increments the range so first time you see 10 11 12 13 14 so for that we need a number one variable and the second point what we observed is even though you took some 10 or 11 or 12 again that has been repeating so that we are finding the factors for that also what we need we need another variable there so that we need two variables and this based upon this variable it is repeating whenever we are talking about repeating what we need we need loops whether it may be for loop while loop or do while. so here we are using for loop so what we what we concluded we need two loops one for incrementing the range and next is one for incrementing the factors so generally this is the main logic behind the prime number you will read a number count equal to will be zero and next i is equal to one i less than or equal to n so this is what finding the factors unless and until you know the factors you will say whether it is a prime number or not so this is the main logic behind the prime numbers but now are we checking for one number or so many numbers here we are talking about so many numbers that means this particular logic should repeat between the ranges if i say 10 for 10 this logic should be repeated for 11 again this logic should be repeated for 12 again this logic should be repeated but here it is again incrementing by one and one right so whole loop should be in another loop that is the logic for prime numbers in a given range so this is what actually the logic so how many numbers you have to have to check here you have to check three two numbers one is number one and number two okay you make this as 5.1 this is a mistake which we did but you make it as 5.1 like 2.1 2.2 you make it as 5.1 here okay yeah so you need number one number two what is the purpose of number one first range mean it range means two numbers right it should be between num1 and num2 if i say 10 30 so 10 is num1 and 30 will be num2 now you have to initialize your num1 to j okay so read j is equal num1 why we are going to increment this one after the other and you need to find the factors of this number yes or no first you have to find the factors of 10 again you have to find the factors of 11 so that's why what we are doing is we are initializing this num1 to j and now tell me every time it will be 10 or it will be 11 12 13 it will be incrementing right so for that we are checking the condition but till how many numbers it should continue that we need right till how many numbers it should repeat that means if you go here and check so how many numbers it is it is doing now it is from 10 to 30 so that means it should check whether it is reaching to num2 or not if it is going beyond this we have to stop right if it is true then what you have to do you have to find the prime whether this particular num2 or num1 i'm sorry this one whether this particular num1 is prime number or not because example if i take 10 you have to check whether 10 is prime number or not so for that you have a code right the code for checking the uh, for finding the prime number what is it set count equal to 0 set i is equal to 1 and for i less than or equal to j why i am writing this because for factors how do you find you'll find factors from 1 to j j means what num1 so that's what so i is less than j continue or else you have to go to step here two okay so if you're going to continue then what else you have to do now you have to check whether this is divisible by i or not okay same same thing check j percentile i equal to equal to zero if it is false then you'll go for incrementing if it is not false that means what it has a factor so as it is having a factor what you do is you will you will add the count count is equal to count plus one so in this way it will move okay so it will move for example if else uh, for example what you are doing is if i less than j that means for example if i take uh, it is 10 so it uh, sometimes it becomes 11 so 11 uh, 10 is less than or equal to 11 true or false it is false so as it is false it will go to what step 8 so now in between what is happening it is finding the factors you will check whether factor is equal to 2 or not if the factor is 2 then you will display it if not what will you do you will go to step 9 what do you mean by step 9 so you completed till here what num1 factors you found 
that means 10 factors you found now what you have to do is you have to increment it to 11 so where actually this number has created it is it has been initialized to j so now you are incrementing j is equal to j plus 1 so that means now this becomes what this becomes what 11 so now you'll go to step 2.2 again you'll go here 11 less than or equal to num2 num2 is what 30 we assumed it right 10 line 30 so 11 less than or equal to 30 is it true yes then go to set count equal to 0 again you have to check i is equal from 1 again from 1 you have to check the uh, you have to go for factors now i less than or equal to j now j became what 11 so in this way you will call, you will check the factors if factors equal to 2 then you will display if not you won't display but is it completed no 11 is completed now what you have to do you have to go to 12 so for that reason you will go to step 9 and say j is equal to j plus 1 now it becomes 12 again it will go here 12 less than or equal to 30 it will continue and it will till move till 30 less than or equal to 30 and next 31 is less than or equal to 30 it is false then it will stop so this is actual algorithm behind the prime numbers range so how do you write this program in c okay so generally we need two variables num1 num2 and two variables for looping i and j and count is for what for finding the factors so you're asking the user to enter the numbers num1 and num2 and output as prime numbers between percentile uh, between these two numbers and this is actual code of your prime numbers so for j is equal to num1 j less than or equal to num2 j plus plus that means you are initializing your num1 to j and this is going to increment every time so count is equal to zero and this particular for loop is for what this for loop is used to check the um, prime numbers so it is divisible it will check whether it is divisible by uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 like that if it is divisible then you are going to add the count is called count plus 1 so once this becomes false you are asking whether count is equal to or not if count is equal to 2 then you are going to print it this is actually the code for what code for your prime numbers in a given range it is a program for uh, prime number finding the range so this is actually pro code which we have written so i'm which i have written. i'm going to execute this compile and run so it is asking range or uh, enter the range of so i want the prime numbers between 1 9 10 so what are the prime numbers between 1 and 10 2 3 5 7 enter the range of this so i'll go with the range from 100 to 200 so it will give you all the prime numbers between 100 and 200 so these are all prime numbers between 100 and 200 you can cross verify this thank you so much please do subscribe my channel